Motorcycle suits are made by different brands such as Dainese, Alpine Slash and Revit. They come in different sizes, colors, material and different levels of protection. But how do you know which motorcycle suit is right for you? Hi everyone, Team for Champion Helmet is here and today we're going to discuss the different types of motorcycle suits and how you can find out which one is right for you. Motorcycle suits are used by sport race riders, sport touring riders and mainly by track riders. Motorcycle suits are worn for protection and comfort which is why you see every MotoGP rider racing in a one piece leather motorcycle suit. Leather motorcycle suits offer the best protection against abrasion because of the material they are made of and they often have multiple protectors in the suit. In addition to these protectors in the suit, there are almost always sliders placed on the suit. These are replaceable pieces of protection that protect your leg or elbow from sliding on the ground. They can be replaced if they are worn out or damaged. You might think that a motorcycle suit is a motorcycle suit, but there are actually differences between suits you can buy. For starters, you have a one-piece motorcycle suit and a two-piece motorcycle suit. One-piece motorcycle suits are motorcycle suits that are made in one piece, also called an overall. This is a suit where the pants and jacket are one piece and can be detached. These suits are mainly worn by track riders, sport bikes and sometimes by bikers on naked bikes. In principle, any biker could wear a motorcycle suit in any type of motorcycle, but the clothing style pair type of motorcycle has already been determined throughout the years. Although, you do not have to stick to it. Another side note is that many race tracks require a one-piece motorcycle suit before you can enter the track these days. The two-piece motorcycle suits are almost the same as the one-piece motorcycle suits. With a two-piece motorcycle suit, you have motorcycle pants and motorcycle jacket that you can attach to each other. These suits have a connecting zipper on the pants and at the bottom of the jacket. They offer the same comfort and protection as a one-piece suit, but the biggest advantage of a two-piece motorcycle suit is that when you arrive at your destination after riding for a while, you can unzip your jacket from your pants. You can then take off your jacket without having to take off the entire suit or having to walk around with the help of your suit unzipped. This provides a little more comfort and usability when not riding on your bike. In addition to the one and two piece motorcycle suits, you also have difference between normal leather motorcycle suits and perforated leather motorcycle suits. As the name suggests, perforated leather motorcycle suits are made for the summer and offer you extra cooling on the hotter summer days. Perforated motorcycle suits have holes in important areas of the suit that allow air to enter and cool your body. This is often in addition to the ventilation options on the suit already. Non-perforated leather motorcycle suits offer the same ventilation option just without the extra perforated parts. These type of suits are ideal for riders who only ride in the summer. So what are the most important things you should pay attention to when you want to go out and buy a motorcycle suit? There are a number of criteria that you need to pay attention to and we're going to go over them with you right now. Motorcycle suits are almost always made of leather. The most common type of leather is cowhide. Cowhide is hard wearing and also very durable. In addition, you have goat leather and kangaroo leather. Goat leather is slightly more expensive than cow leather and kangaroo leather is the most expensive one. Goat leather is also hard wearing and durable, but a little bit softer and a lot more flexible. Kangaroo leather is the strongest leather used. This leather is soft, flexible and above very thin. This not only increases the durability and wear resistance, but also the comfort. Leather is mainly used because it offers great protection. Leather is tear and wear resistant and if you have any incident and you slide on the ground, it offers the best protection. As I just mentioned, motorcycle suits are used on the tracks and should offer more than enough protection. Suits always have level 1 or level 2 elbow, shoulder and knee protectors. And the level of protection depends on the impact that protectors can absorb in the event of an incident. Motorcycle suits also have or are prepared for level 1 or level 2 back, chest and or hip protectors. If these do not come standard with the suit, you can buy these separately. Nowadays, most manufacturers also have an airbag motorcycle suit. These are suits with as the name suggests, a built-in airbag. As soon as you fall, the airbag inflates and you can make a softer landing. These airbag suits are generally still on the more expensive side and quickly run to about 2000 euros. But for the people who often ride on the tracks, it can be worth it. Also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, motorcycle suits have sliders. Sliders are replaceable plastic or leather round parts that protect your motorcycle suit around the knee from wear and tear as you approach corners. These are on the outside and just below the knee on the both legs. Leather motorcycle suits when you just pressure them, are often a bit stiff, but leather gets better and better after a while, because it will form itself to your body. It is often said that leather molds to your body in such a way that it seems like a second skin, but leather motorcycle suits also often have stretch panels to ensure that you have a little bit more freedom of movement and they are also slightly more user friendly. 
It is important that when you try on a suit, the protectors are in the right place. You don't want your knee protectors on your lower leg and your elbow protectors on your wrist. An important part for motor riders who ride on the track is aerodynamics. And on some motorcycle suits you see a speed hump on the back. The speed hump is a kind of bump just above the back that improves aerodynamics when you are tucked in on the bike. Nowadays it is also prepared for a drinking system or a camelback. But for this you need a helmet that is also prepared for a drinking system. There are two ways to cool your body during the hot days in the summer. These are ventilation openings and perforated parts in the motorcycle suit. The ventilation openings speak for themselves. These are zippers that you can open to let the wind in your motorcycle suit, thus cooling your body. A perforated motorcycle suit has holes in the suit at the front and the back. These holes provide a continuous flow of air cooling down your body. The most important question to ask yourself is what kind of motorcyclist are you? A two-piece motorcycle suit is more often used for recreational riding and a one-piece motorcycle suit for track riding. So, do you ride more track or do you ride more recreationally? That does not mean you cannot buy a one-piece motorcycle suit even if you were ever ride on the track. You still decide what clothing you want to wear on your motorcycle. Pay attention to the protection offered by the suit and make sure everything is in the right place. So, this was the video and now you know what to look for when buying a motorcycle suit. Do you want more information about motorcycle suits? Then be sure to take a look at our web shop www.championhelmets.com where we always offer the lowest price guarantee and have amazing discount bundles. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching, my name is Simon with Champion Helmets and hopefully until next time.